What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today, you guys are going to get some gameplay going through the Erdegaard objectives. Um, I claimed, you know, to get the 81 was real easy. Uh, to do the objectives with the 81 was real easy. Uh, we've then been doing the 84 rated uh, objectives. Um, just some cards here that uh, we sold as well. Some uh, good sales from Silver Pack Method was quite strong right now. Obviously, you have the opportunity to pack the Future Stars cards in Silver Packs. Uh, but also a lot of the stuff is just selling anyway. So uh, very, very nice there. And gold pack method wasn't half bad as well due to one of the SBCs. The new SBC right now is, is again, more specifically geared towards silver players. So hopefully we'll be able to pick up some um, some good some good uh, you know coins off of the silver pack method. But we're at climbing the ranks. You'll see how I got here in a second. Uh, but we're now going to pick up the 85 um, Erdegaard card. This is a, it's a pretty good card. You know, obviously he's got a three-star weak foot, five-star skill moves. His shot power and long shots are real nice. His dribbling is is good. You know, he's got very good stamina, which is nice. His passing is already very good and his pace is decent. Um, obviously, the objective set to get from here onwards becomes a little bit tiresome. Uh, assist six goals with lob through balls isn't going to be too difficult. Uh, score five finesse shot goals isn't going to be too difficult either. Those two will kind of just happen as you go through the rest of them. But here score and assist in three rivals wins whilst i'm doing this up towards division two is not going to be fun and it's not going to be easy uh score in nine separate rivals wins is not going to be fun and not going to be easy and then play 20 games which we only need 12 more to do is going to be easy and will just happen almost by accident um so uh, i don't know if you guys saw my twitter my tweet last night where i did like a little video piece about how uh, upon first inspection this erdegaard upgrade system seemed brilliant and almost exactly like what we wanted but it's actually not really what i would like or what i was looking for um ultimately if you think back to the other cards that we've had uh zil jeko iniesta Roussillon, um zh whoever it may be from a season objective even the season progress cards right every time we have a card we just have a bunch of objectives to do and we get the card now whilst this one seems like it gives you upgraded cards because you started with the 80 which you had to use to get the 84 which you had to use to get the 85 which you had to use to get the 87 they basically added that stuff in as extras to get a card that we pretty much would have got had this new system not been implemented so think back to the zh as a 90 imagine instead of just giving us that card for the objectives that were required they then they forced you to use the 85 zh to do certain things and then gave you an 87 and forced you to use that to do certain things that that is essentially what they've done they've made it just a little bit more difficult to get the same sort of thing that we've been getting anyway and they've masked it as an upgrade what i would like because i know a lot of people like when i tweeted about this uh, a lot of people like isn't this exactly what you asked for and, and no it's not exactly what i've asked for and, and i don't even think this is a step in the right direction i actually think this is a step in the wrong direction because ea are literally like manipulating people into thinking we've got some cool upgradable system which we just don't. What I would like is to get this 80 rated uh, Erdegaard and then have an Erdegaard tab in milestones where it's, you know, score 10 goals as the first, you know, or goals, right? Just goals. Instead of Brewster Dortmund, it's goals. And you go into goals, then it's got score 10, 25, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1000. And each time you complete an objective in goals, you get an upgrade in either shooting overall or finishing or whatever it may be. And then instead of goals, have assists, have headers, have long shots, have skill moves. You know, um, well, I don't know if they could track this in Ultimate Team. I know they used to be able to in pro clubs, but dribble past, you know, 100 players, 200 players, 300 players with Erdegaard. And the more you do it, you end up getting an upgrade in skill moves. Score and, you know, weak foot. So score 30 goals on his weak foot to get a skill move upgrade, a weak foot upgrade. Score 150 goals to get a weak foot upgrade. Score 500 goals on his weak foot to get a weak foot upgrade. That's the sort of stuff that I would love to have with how to upgrade a player. Because what we have here, as I say, like, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to do it because it's something to do. And I'm still going to just do it to progress to the 87 card. But this, is, this isn't this is us playing with the card to upgrade it. It's playing with a different card to get a new card. Just because they're the same card type and it's the same player, that, that for me, that it's, it's, it's a really backhanded way of EA kind of giving us an upgrade system that is, is not really what we're looking for. What, what's sad is that I think a lot of people, and I'm, I'm sure the comments are going to be the same, 
a lot of people are not really getting an understanding where I'm coming from and my perspective on this. A lot of people are. A lot of people are like, yeah, no, I actually get it now. I see what you're saying. You know, we've basically been getting cards as good as or better than this Erdogan card for far less work earlier on in the game cycle. What I want is to be able to get this 87 card and then carry on playing with him and carrying on upgrading him in other ways. And that's just something that we sadly don't have. So um, what today is going to be, however, though, guys, is going to be me working towards some objectives. So as you can see, I've done six out of the 11 of Erdegaard so far. Uh, I've also done three out of four of La Liga first owned, uh, one out of 12 of Foot Champs and three out of five for One Club Wonders. And we're doing that kind of all together at the moment because we are using this Erdegaard card in this team, uh, which is my first owner La Liga team, which really is quite quite a spectacular first owner La Liga team, you know. Um, obviously, Cazorla's good, not great because of that stamina. Toko Akambe in there, uh, Lucas Vasquez, Morales. The Odegaard card, and you'll see here from the four games that we played with him, we've got five goals and two assists. So I'm not necessarily complaining about the card itself specifically. The card and the cards that you get um, are pretty cool. You know, I like the fact that there's a weak foot upgrade on one of them. I like the fact that, he, you know, you end up getting the 87 rated card in the end. Uh, this guy can go into my team now, but it's just, uh, yeah. Then we've got Hazard, Alba, PK, which is great. Varane and Mendy, which is great. And then Celeste and goal is pretty bad. Obviously, I've packed all black a couple of times. We've just sold him on every time we'll use the massive all black in uh, untraded West BCs. Um, and I've been using the 4 3 2 1 uh, today as well, guys. So I just want to show you what my tactics are looking like right now. Um, we're running the 4 3 2 1, pressure on heavy touch again, three star, uh, three depth again, and possession with everything else the same so as you guys know i don't use drop back one depth it's just not how i like to play uh, right now we're running with uh, vasquez morales and santi in the center of the park odegaard at right cam or right wing because i had to get some assists or some through ball assists with him and stuff uh toko akambe and hazard up front obviously when i use my main team the team's going to look a hell of a lot better but that's how i'm playing right now and then in terms of player instructions uh getting behind uh getting behind and getting behind on my attackers no comeback on defense on them either Stay back while attacking on all three of my midfielders and then stay back while attacking on my fullbacks. Uh, but I might change Mendy to let him get forwards, uh, not go forwards, but just balanced um, because I, like, I could use the extra the extra player there. But they're the tactics I've been using for today's video. Um, I built a few packs today as well. So you guys are going to see some two-player packs, a mega pack from a daily objective and such, um, and a few other bits and bobs. But once again, guys, I think because of the new daily uh, SBC that's there, I think silver players in general are going to be uh, quite expensive again. The formation is a four triple two. So the chemistry requirements aren't too high. It's only 60 chemistry, uh, but it's a 70 rated squad needed, I believe, maybe a 73 rated squad or something. So obviously whilst opening silver packs, you can pack future stars. There's six of them that you can pack. Um, and then if you get any players, of course, that work well with, um, with the SBC, you're gonna end up making yourself a nice chunk of coins off of silver pack method right now. For me, as you can see, with opening a pack right there, I have got a lot of duplicate silvers. My my silvers are heavy in the club right now to the point where it might be time to start going through discarding and selling all of them to get those coins or, um, you know, throwing them in gold upgrade packs because there's also five common gold cards that are future stars as well, uh, which obviously would be... Um, really really nice to 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 utilize there you go is this guy expensive so that if i wanted to sell these i could easily make about 4k off of this pack um obviously the squad fitness card would sell for 1200 the italian center back might even sell for a thousand and then the uh the other two players that are league sbc cards that i mean that i mean that spot where i'm i am doing the league sbc grind right now and tomorrow's video is we're going to start with the league sbc packs both of these are like a thousand to two thousand coins right now probably because of the sbc to the point where I'm like, should I uh, should I actually look to take the coins from these whilst they're a little bit hiked in price, rather than um, rather than take the uh, take the card to put into the league SBC? I don't particularly know, but uh, there we are, guys. So we're going to go into some gameplay and stuff such now, which means I'm going to get some comments from the comment section, um, and then uh, yeah, that that's going to be the uh, video for today. Um, some good gameplay as well. I'm playing some good FIFA at the moment. I'm only in, you know, like I'm not like an extremely high level of rivals. That's a pretty good pack as well. What have we got here? Any cam? Oh, cam here. Is he going for anything? No, only 200. So we'll hold tight on him. Maybe he gets uh, put in eventually. Maybe he doesn't. And then the Pepsi kit. I'll try and sell it. If it doesn't sell the first time around, I'll discard it. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now, guys, with objectives and with the account. I'm only 1-0 in champs, but of course we have the extra day now. So there's no particular rush to get through the champs games. And uh, yeah, let's get into some action.
All right, guys. So as we get into the gameplay, of course, uh, we're playing in Rivals right now for Erdogan, except for this game. This is the Foot Champs game. I couldn't remember if I recorded it or not. Um, I got a red card really early on uh, with this team uh, here. It was mostly because um, I, I've, I've actually, I've probably had more red cards since this new patch than I have done in a long, long time. And what keeps happening is I keep doing a running fake shot with a player and for whatever reason, the ball kind of unlocks from the player. You can see in the top right there, I've got a red card. And uh, I keep sliding through the back of the defender. And now it has happened from time to time in past, you know, past times in FIFA. Uh, but since the new patch, it has happened just more than ever before. To the point where I think since the, the most recent update or patch, or whatever we're going to call it, I've probably got about eight to ten red cards from trying to do running fake shots and accidentally sliding into people than I have got red cards just in general for any reason ever before in this entire game of FIFA. Um, so I ended up, you know, this guy was actually solid. His team was nowhere near as good as mine, of course. Um, but he was a really strong player. So to beat him with ten men, it was just real nice, man. It, it was good. And I'm playing good FIFA here. And we're actually using the 4-3-2-1 in this team as well. And... Yeah, for whatever reason, I do really, really enjoy the uh, formation. So, uh, comments from yesterday's uh, video. Uh, Jean-Francois Dubay, man. I've probably read your comments out about 15 or 20 times in over the over the past year or so. And I always love your name. So, congratulations on that. He says, what they should have done is they should have just let us put the lower versions of Odegaard in the SBC for the 50k and let us keep the best version of him. Uh, so, we talked, obviously, at the start of the video about that Odegaard and how it's not really what they're kind of marketing it to be. Um, which is, you know, they're marketing it to be an upgradable card. And I, I just, I think that's a bit disingenuous because I don't think that's what the truth is. Uh, but that 50k pack, which I didn't touch on at the start of the video, is also very bizarre. Now, obviously, if you put all four segments in and you get a 50k pack and, for example, an 89 or 90 rated Erdegaard as a reward, that would be a win. Yep, let me collect all of these four cards. Let me trade them in for the best possible version. Happy days. Or... If you traded in all four of them and you got back that 50k on tradable pack and, for example, an 87 rated Odegaard back again, so you just essentially got the 87 rated one back, yep, uh, that works as well. Or, as uh, Jean-Francois says, uh, why not just put the three low versions in and then get the 50k on tradable? Because what you're essentially asking is you're asking for people to put in an 87, um, an 80 an 85, an 84, and an 80. Now, the 80 would have a, a value of 800 coins, right? Um, but the 87 rated card, the lowest rated 87 card on the market right now as, as far as a tradable option, which is obviously the value that EA put on it, uh, is 22,000 coins. And then an 85 and an 84, you're essentially putting in about 35Ks worth of SBC fodder for a 50K on tradable pack, which is terrible value. Um, so I don't know if they made a mistake there and they're just refusing to change it or if that's there by design and EA genuinely think that a 50k pack is more valuable, an untradable 50k pack is more valuable than the 87 Erdegaard, which I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think it is. I think that 87 Erdegaard actually is, is a decent card. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I'm playing for it so quickly is because I quite like the card. I enjoy it. I think it's a good card. I would like to have it on the bench for my foot champs runs, right? So... I think the card itself is is pretty good, um, very good actually. You know, other than the three star weak foot, which is a bit disappointing, he has a lot of very very good aspects of his card this year. He has the outside the foot shot trait. Uh, he's got five star skill moves. He's got great stamina, really well rounded dribbling and pace. Like there's a lot of positives about it. You know, essentially. So I like it. You know, outside of the fact that I, I hate the way they've kind of uh, misled us to believe this is an upgradable card, I just generally like the card itself. Um, so yeah, I don't know what they did with that. The next comment is from Emmanuel Adet. He says, Hey Nep, EA really messed up with Martinelli. However, the composure, aggression, and reactions of the future star card is lower than his ratings in kickoff. They might have to give him a winter upgrade like so Nep can see and address it. I, I, I do believe he will get a winter upgrade for sure. Um, what I don't know about with regards to... Um, what I don't know about with regards to the upgrade is that they once again are following this really linear upgrade system, right? So that's why his... Um, that's why his composure and reactions haven't gone further than they are because he's hit a max already on dribbling to one of the stats must have hit 99, which 
capped everything and stopped it from moving basically uh, and they did the same thing last year which were, i think last year was the first year they introduced it it might have been the year before was that was the first year that they introduced it um but uh yeah they did it last year as well we know that they don't have to do this right because the scream cards they didn't do it with the scream cards they give just any boost they want at any time and the league spc cards this year they have given monster boosts to um in spite of the fact that uh they they don't deserve or whatever a monster boost um so yeah the martinelli it's just it's just frustrating man they, they're such a good card and then it's let down by certain areas and, and somebody had tweeted out today i think it was um um oh, I, can't, I can't remember who it was off the top of my head uh, uh boras uh, tweeted out this is supposed to be the potential of these cards so why not give them skill moving week for upgrades as well in, in what we could potentially see as where they're going to go and what they're going to be right why not give them what you know for martinelli why not give him five star skill moves four star weak foot for greenwood why not give him five star weak foot which he already has and four star skill moves you know why are we like, just like limiting them when this is their future stars card you know obviously not every single person and not every single future star in the world is going to get to five star five star that's idiotic right but there are certain cards out there that martinelli is as the prime example of a kid that is very very skillful can shoot with both feet and deserves more than three star three star so that's a bit of a weird one for me um the uh the next comment is from ramarino he says uh, how is tonali disappointing so a very very fair question uh for me the the issue here isn't he, he it's not a disappointing card right it is a brilliant card right and and that's based off the fact that i absolutely loved his league sbc card um when you look at him with an anchor he becomes one of the best cdms in the game his defending and physicals are brilliant his short passing is brilliant his pace is brilliant he's got four star weak foot he is just a monster in the midfield right the the point where it's disappointing for me for me is uh, and this is where ea's just backwards upgrade system comes into play again his his 84 league sbc card compared to his 75 base card is given a big upgrade right it's a plus nine overall anyway and it's been given 12 defending, 10 physical, 9 dribbling, 10 shooting, 8 passing, and 7 pace. So roundabout, it's a plus 9 overall. Uh, his 91 rated card, which is a further 7 more points above his 84, only gives 3 more pace, 3 more defending, 4 more passing, 4 more dribbling, 5 physical, and 7 shooting. And so for me, because the 84 to the 91 is a plus 7, it should be there or thereabouts a plus 7 upgrade, which for me should be, you know, 5 or 6 pace seven or eight shooting seven or eight passing seven or eight physical seven or eight defending and seven or eight dribbling so i think he should have an even better card than he currently has as his future stars card based on that league sbc card so that's that for me is what's disappointing like the difference between the 84 and the 91 is nowhere near grand enough in my opinion to warrant the 1.2 million coin price tag that the 91 has when if you give the uh, 84 and anchor chem style which of course you can complete the 84 through the league sbc grind if you do it from scratch with nothing it will cost you 270k plus packs back so at worst 180 190 at best you make profit whilst doing it and it's also a brilliant brilliant card it is even to this day one of my favorite sbc cards or my favorite cards in general that i've used this whole year you know if, if politano god forbid does ever actually get an upgrade uh politano and tonali as, as a duo you know strong linking together for chemistry is just going to be brilliant um but that 91 tonali is just just a bit of a letdown i suppose because of that and and for no other reason uh, than that um the next comment is from uh abdullahi adan he says nep i've got to make five and a half million coins me struggles to make 10k um it's all relative right um and and the the prospect of making 5.5 million coins it's not gonna be easy and it's gonna be boring it's gonna be a lot of grinding it's gonna be a lot of frustrations obviously if i hit a jackpot pack again uh you know like uh if we hit another icon and get four 500k bang that's that's a massive portion of it tucked away um but ultimately you know it, it's not gonna be easy it's it's, it's gonna be a very very boring process it's gonna be a lot more of opening bronze and silver packs grinding league sbcs just making the small margins constantly and constantly hopefully you know eventually i will get into icon flipping i know it's something i want to do but right now i actually don't have too many liquid coins i'm only at about 500k right now um and uh, you i think you just need more for that and also because of the way 
Um, the game is right now with so much to play for, in spite of whether it's value for time or not. There just is so much to play for. Uh, I, I don't want to um, w focus on icon flipping when I would much rather focus my time on completing objectives and playing with a team that I've spent so long to build and, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, like if you struggle to make 10k, here's a quick tip for you. Just open some bronze packs and sell everything. Open some silver packs and sell everything. Or go on the market and take 10k, buy fitness cards for whatever they're going for right now. List them up for 40% more and just keep doing that. You'll make 10k no problem at all, right? No worries at all, at all. Um, but yeah, for me to make five and a half million coins, it's not the sort of thing I could see myself doing overnight. Uh, it's just that, that for me, that Cristiano Ronaldo team of the year is the next card that I definitely want. And then of course, for us, one million of those coins comes from selling Trent when we decide to sell him. Um, and so I, I need another five and a half million coins. Now Trent is actually going up in prices up to like one million. So Cristiano Ronaldo is currently 7.7 .7 million. So he's actually gone up 200,000 coins since we last spoke about it. So even with that in mind, is it might even, it might be so tough to even get him because by the time I get to 7.7 .7 million coins, what if he's worth 8.5 million coins? Now I'm another 800k behind, right? Uh, but the good news with that is, is if I ever just did want Ronaldo and wanted to make the next kind of objective a lot more achievable, I can just sell Mbappe. You know, Mbappe's 5.3. Trent's 1 million, that's 6.3. I've got half a million in the bank, that's closer to seven. I'm only a week or so away, maybe two weeks at most away from actually being able to afford Ronaldo if I sell Mbappe and Trent. Um, I don't particularly want to sell Mbappe. Uh, I'm finally finding my feet with this card and, and, and scoring goals with him, how I feel they should be scored. Um, but that possibility is always there because then it will just always be an easier setup to get back to Mbappe um, on, you know, on, on the meantime, basically. Uh, and then the last comment is from uh, Timothy. He says, you have to realize that at least 30% or more FIFA players are in Division 6 or come silver one foot champs in FIFA. I am one of them. I'd, I'd say more than 30%. I'd say the, the, the large bulk of players are, uh, you know, silver one, silver two, gold three level players. Uh, but just to end off where this video will be, I did just want to ask you guys, what is your average rank? How many coins do you have if you sold everything? Where do you play to in champs? Where, where are you in rivals? How much do you play FIFA? And um, what do you expect out of it? Because I think what he's talking about is the Erdegaard, right? And it's, it, go, it takes me... But the reason why I ask those questions is because it takes me back to that comment of if you're the sort of person that needs this Erdegaard, you, grinding, you don't have the time to grind for him. And if you're the sort of person that can grind for this Erdegaard, likelihood is you just don't need him, right? And, and that's what EA, I feel, have got wrong for a lot of this year many, many times. Uh, but there you go, guys. So to end off this video, we managed to collect what you saw right at the start of the video, the 84 Erdegaard. That final game there was all I needed. I got that one goal with him. I co controlled the game a bit, but was unable to uh, get the wins. Um, but we're in a healthy division. Our account's looking good. I'm having fun on FIFA at the moment. So that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.